Moria Shrine, the game. Welcome back, everyone, for a very special thing this time. We're gonna be doing uh, Moria Shrine, the game is easy, chapter five. Now you might be thinking, well, I mean, you've already done all the rest, so you're just going to go for Utsuho. Well, actually, we have some little tricks up our sleeves right now, so first, we're gonna do the beginning. And step one, doing the beginning story. Now that we've been thoroughly pummeled by these bad guys, it seems we need to be stronger. And for that, we're going to pick up some items. Okay, we're very well equipped now. We've got some good items. But we still need that one little thing. And the person who's going to give us that is the man right behind us. Now that we've uh, soothed his need for violence, we can proceed to what we actually need to do. So, we're going to do the little side quest that's new from this chapter that wasn't previously. So first we're going to this cold little place, there's a rock there bothering us, you know. We've been through this for the beginning of the, of the Let's Play. Still wanted to make sure people knew how we, we did this, because you know, it's not to say the most obvious. That's the little secret part, the most important part of this project, really. So now we've done that. Uh, save before, cause why not? Talk to him, and let's get ready for some fighting! Okay, we've acquired what we wanted. The mana crystal that managed to summon the archer was going to be very important for the upcoming fight. But first, we still need some more items. Okay, we've got a team assembled. We've picked up all the items, and this is how we end up. We got C with uh, these items. We've got baby slime, of course, and defense, and the little hat. We've got a Siren with just a basic stiff but a necrotic ring and a power ring because he does more physical damage. Uh, as you might have seen, I'm still level 1 of C and I have not done a single fight. I'm at 0 XP because the fights for the T quest where we got our Archer doesn't actually give any uh, XP. It gives a little bit of money though. What you know is interesting. Very interesting. Could be abused, but I don't think I'll need it. Anyways. Now, uh, the last part of the setup is uh, to make sure we buy the proper items from the shop. Because, uh, as you can see, we don't have a lot of money. And unlike last time, I don't want to sell for mana potions. Because uh, I need those mana potions right now. I need that mana to summon the archer. Last time was not a problem. I was level 4, so I had way enough mana. Well, way enough to almost mana, but... I had sufficient mana. I didn't need it as much. And, you know, I was higher level. Uh, why there's a long pause right now is me uh, doing the math about would it be more worth to buy fish or potion. I basically just did the, the fish cost 39 and just 200 so I did like 39 divided by 200 and then the potion of 50 divided by 300 to see which one would work better. Uh, potions will heal you uh, more per money, like it's more worth to buy them, but at the same time I don't have that much health and uh, 144. It's not a lot of money, I'd rather buy some cheap things, so there's not really no point buying potions mostly. So, uh, I end up buying uh, only a single potion, and then two fish, which, uh, which is what's going to be good enough for us. From all the items, we have a free mana potion, uh, faith potions, uh, we now have three health potions, two fish, and an unbanned key is what we need. From all the resources we picked up on the way. So now we do a little precautionary save. It's always important to do a little save before because you never know my what. You never know what might happen. So, now that we have saved, it took me an hour and a half to do all this, you can see the time. We can proceed to the boss fight. Uh, story so far Life is good is new. We thought we could go there, but some people say no hugs for us, and so we can't go there, and then Yungu doesn't like it either. But whatever, how can she stop? She's only the first boss. How hard can she really be? Oh, 
Okay, but in all seriousness, don't ever do that. Like, don't. This fight, my goodness, it was a struggle. There's RNG involved, you gotta get lucky, you gotta make sure she doesn't do that thing, which she did literally at the very beginning, which was excellent. But, uh, somehow I made it through after numerous, numerous times. Like, it took me an hour just to get a winning fight. But, anywho, the fight itself, uh, Yomu. She has three different attacks, a regular attack, a poisonous attack, like this is regular, there we go. Uh, she's gonna do the poisonous, just to be nice, that'd be perfect. And, no, just regular attack. Anyway, she has a poison attack, which is a little more damage, and has a chance of poisoning. And finally, she has her AoE, which attacks every single enemy, uh, well, everybody on your team wants, with a big damage size, like much more power than most of the others. Actually, I want to say most, and all the others, there's only two others. So yeah, what you want to do, uh, hope C and tanks, hope you avoid attacks, make sure C always has mana, and HP, mostly HP, because if you're dead, you what's the point, and uh, summon the archer as much as possible. Uh, this is great compared to last time, uh, we didn't have, like, both parts of the gem or the archer, which is why, uh, I had to level up a bit before doing it, but this is nice, but now that we have those two items, we we'll are still a gem, very strong item. And by getting it at the very beginning for free, like, thank you very much. Uh, second, the archer is so useful, having a summon right at the beginning now, it's like a third person that can attack, and can take the damage for you, most of it. that's really what's the best part. As you can see, uh, C is getting taken a lot of damage, which is why you have all those potions and healing that we bought and picked up. Like, all of the items we picked up are going to be essential for this fight, like, really close. Uh, like I said, RNG can really fuck you up, and uh, you basically have to hope that you miss it like that, and that you can win, and that he focuses here. Uh, a little faith potion. Why am I using faith potion? I guess, uh, cause I'm gonna run out of mana to be able to summon the archer there. He's under the mana necessary, so I'm gonna be blessing him there. Uh, she's almost dead, which is nice, but uh, it can still go wrong at any moment. Just make sure you remember that. Even though it seems like you're dead, this is not dead, but C died in two hits. Like he died in two hits. So yeah. Uh, I want to be safe. I give a potion to Siren just to make sure he would live. And uh, now the potion is going attack her. You get a nice little crit there to make it safer. Uh, the AoE. See that? 165 damage. See that? The health of C just melted. Using uh, healing potion just, just in case. You never know what might happen. You get a nice crit from the archer. And uh, she ends up attacking the serum, so in the end I could just not use the potion, but let it hit sorry. And there it is. There's the Yumu fight. The perfect Yumu fight. Not a single XP game. Immediately level 5, by the way. And uh, all these fancy new items. And there we have it. She's running away. She's scared of our unbeatable power. And the first boss fight is done. This was a lot more difficult than I expected. So to be fair, I did try to do it at level 1 to see. Somehow they still match both of them to level 5. Quite surprised. But anyway, now the first boss is done. Uh, it's time to move on to the second. But first, we have some unfinished business. Well, we've got back life is good from these bugs. Let's see what people have to say. What's this? Trouble in general? Well, let's get to it. But first, a little rest. Now, about this fight, uh, you don't actually, you can win, but uh, since you don't actually have to and winning gives you XP, it's better if you just let him slowly kill you. That's about all I have to say. Back on to uh, a bunch of clips. Well, now it's time to go on through all of these paintings, uh, one by one. First, uh, I gave C a little magical brush that we picked up on the way. It was uh, behind the building. I'm sure you saw it. It would have like a fraction of a second. 
Uh, make sure you save before because one point it crashed on me. But anyway, time for some montages. Does anybody else think this looks like one giant tree and a bunch of small ones? Yeah, just a thought. On to painting number two. This time we're gonna go for a nice beach episode. Hope everybody enjoys. Uh, about this fight, uh, equip the new anchor you got, the gallivanting anchor as well, so that Siren can actually use her thunder strike because it's like super effective and all. Don't, don't, be, don't be dumb like me. That is all. And with the beach episode done, it's time to move on to our favorite area the bone zone. Uh, they're usually, skeletons are weak to fire, but unfortunately we don't have that yet, so uh, we'll have to deal with frost. Anyways, let's go! Wait, I already did this before, didn't I? Yeah, let's just go on to killing them all in a row. Moving on to the final painting. Well, I've cleared the buildings, but we still have one little opponent yet to face. Well, this was a, a little, little tougher than I expected, to be fair. Like, I did run out of uh, MP with uh, C. And uh, HP with almost was close with uh, Siren, but that's possibly because I didn't echo the regen ban on him with an idiot. Uh, because of that stupid incident that I'm very mad about in the skeleton man, I need to buy some more HP potions, and I don't even have an unbanked here, which is great. Also gonna buy some mana potions, because you never know if you might run out of mana. Uh, I'm gonna actually equip the band of regeneration now, which I should have done a while ago. But whatever. Uh, let's move on and uh, go on to fight our next opponent. So uh, this was a, this is the second boss we are approaching to. I don't know why I'm standing there. Now I consider this boss to be the easiest in the game. Like it's really not much trouble, but seeing what happened from the first one. Uh, well, I mean, can't be that bad, right? Right? Well, it turns out, yeah, he's still easy. Like, first try. Not even close. Uh, what we're gonna do, first of all, is uh, get the red flag first to aggro on Siren, because apparently C has 400% aggro if you don't do that, because it always needs a fucking damage. Anyways, uh, this boss fight, as I said, pretty easy. I mean, get rid of the anti hugs at the beginning, because otherwise the damage is just gonna start stacking a lot. Uh, I'm gonna use the Wilfred Sword for Siren so that I can apply low poison on, on Rider. Although it's been nerfed in this game, it's only 4% instead of 5%, that's still 4% HP every turn. Uh, and then just use Close to None and the Summon to try and take out all the enemies on the side. Oh, that attack. Yeah, you want to make sure she doesn't do that attack. I mean, it's not like you have a choice. But uh, you just want to pray she doesn't do that attack too much because that's the only one that can actually kind of screw you up. Because it does damage to everybody and it does a decent amount. 
And you can't exactly heal multiple people right now. You can only use one hug to move to heal one guy. But yeah. I did forget to equip the teardrop uh, ring to Siren though. Would have been nice to give him a little more defense. But anyway, that's about what I had to say about the boss. So instead, what I'm going to talk about now is avoid her. She can poison you that, just like uh, your move did kill. Uh, about the rules, kind of, because I didn't really speak much about the rules of this uh, challenge. Of course, there's the, you know, try and be the lowest level, which is like the premise. Be as low level as you can. But some little extra things I wanted to put, which is uh, I want to finish every boss with my entire team, which summons withstanding, uh, our entire team with uh, alive, simply not dead, because otherwise I could you could technically abuse it to be even lower level, because uh, if a team member is dead during the fight, at the end of the fight they only gain half XP, which means theoretically I could like lose some fights, like for example on the Yumu fight, I could uh, won during one of the attempts, uh, I had C dead and I could have finished with Siren. But I didn't want to when I had to use the Banky and etc. But in the end, I still lost. But so I could have used that to have C gain even less levels and therefore be even lower level. Which, in a sense, is like, yeah, cool, you can be at lower level, which is exactly what you want. But I found it like to really show how easy the game is, it's much better to be like, hey, my party didn't even die. That's how good I am. Or how easy the game is, I guess, is the thing. Uh, when she's under 33% health, I think, she summons those two uh, other grunts, as you can see, but, you know, same strategy, just use close to none to take him down. Nothing bad. Um, use a little potion, and a little mana potion as well for C, so that you can get back some uh, usefulness in the fight, relevancy. The only potions I'm going to use for the entire fight, by the way, because that's just how simple it is. Like, come on. But, anyway, uh... So yeah, that is, uh, that's all the rules I wanted to make sure I specified. Uh, doing the double damage, pretty sweet. Uh, head is dead, doesn't matter if it's summon anyway, you can't use it here slowly. And there's the boss, now we just have to uh, get rid of those two little grunts. And C, remember, has 400% uh, aggro, so he's gonna take all the damage every time, so make sure you kill him, even though you think like, oh, it's fine, then I attack Siren. I say yes, they attack Siren, but yeah, they attack you this time. Uh, so yeah, the rest of the little guys aren't that bad, they just can't hurt, so just be careful. And there we go, the fight is finished, we passed to level 9, got our trident staff, and we did it at level 8. Once again, avoiding all the fights in the on the way, and only doing the mandatory ones. Poor little now little flan flan can continue to post her little Hitalia art. Just gonna finish the cutscene. So now that this is done, we're gonna give to proceed to the next boss. So see you over there. And now for the worst part of all these things, the mandatory fights. Oh, time to go on a murder spree. By the way, I forgot to talk to this person at the beginning of the game, but uh, yeah. Talk to him. Very important. We've killed all the enemies we needed, but what's not over yet? We still got a few items to pick up. Oh, hey, there you are. I'm surprised I didn't meet you any sooner. Well, anyways, goodbye. Whee! Go 
Okay, enough playtime. Let's get serious. And here we are at the boss. This is our team looking at 11, 11, 13. C has this equipment. Nothing new except the Misty Spirit that we got over here. Siren has a Dark Steel Armor, and I actually forgot to put the flower mark for the second boss, so you know. Haha, -ha, funny. Anyways, it also has the blue tear stone ring that I didn't equip as well. Uh, Archie uh, is gonna get the Blood Bow. Wait, no, actually, I'm hesitating, but I thought like maybe not because the boss, second phase, uh, yes, the boss is two phases by the way, spoiler alert, is immune to poison, but. For reasons that it doesn't really matter, I'm gonna keep the bow. And uh, yeah, he has all this stuff. I'm um, actually gonna change the casual wear, give him the captain vents for a little more defensive, even though it's a little bit less chilly. Captain's hat, no, because otherwise he won't have the critical hit from his glasses. From her glasses, my bad, my bad. It is a she, she is a she. Oh god, I'm making things worse. Anyways, let's save and enter the boss fight. And so the boss fight begins. You know, going to this, uh, into this, I was a little apprehensive. I was scared that maybe I was gonna have a quite a difficult time because I remember him being a more difficult boss, but it actually went pretty damn well. Beginning is a uh, pretty standard, you know, the usual. Uh, putting so C getting the aggro, summoning the hidden, putting a little poison thanks to Archie's new bow, and then we're gonna start uh, doing a bunch of damage, as much damage as we can. Doing this to try and hope and get some critics, get more damage with two hits of the hidden, etc. etc. Uh, Siren didn't get poisoned there, which is kind of lucky, like twice in a row. It's pretty good. Uh, I keep trying to remember that since <laughs> Siren is such a low level that I forget that he doesn't have any skills that I can actually use in combat and uh, Archie did get full though so yeah I keep going accidentally on skills which I probably shouldn't be special uh, yeah after you take down a little bit of health Borg summons his uh, little little friend modded boss man there he is uh, at that point well kill the little pup as quickly as you can because they're gonna get attacked twice and whenever Borg does something like a heal or a buff they both get it so you know that's Pretty cool. Uh, so we can finally use Siren's skill to attack in AoE. Got the hidden, you can attack twice. I troll the other pup to try and take you down faster. Even though to be fair, maybe just doing a. That's total help, just doing a triple attack. Could have worked just fine. So you yeah, have trolls, they just disappeared on everybody over there. Put uh, the aggro back of Siren. Just make sure you always have that aggro because you can do a lot of damage to the other people. Especially C, because look at that. Poor suit, so little HP and really not good defense. Uh, the fact that the boss is level 17 but is still slower than everyone except Siren and really one sh shows like the bosses aren't fast enough, like you should be a little bit, maybe a little faster. I don't know, Bruce already. Second, holy crap, is Siren slow to be slower than them when he's like high level. Anyway, get trolled on Siren for once finally. Uh, cooldown for the swap, so we're just gonna use a little female action in order to attack. Uh, attack and rapid fire. This is basically all you're gonna do for the rest of the fight now. Uh, you can get flamed in this fight, which uh, does that you'll have a boost of attack, but you can only do regular attack, like you can't control. The player will always do just a regular attack if you're using this flame, which is why uh, the Misty Spirit is extremely useful on C because it makes him immune to such things because you know he has abysmal attack we don't want to want him to have that uh ah there it is once you take him low enough he'll transform and uh, completely obliterate you like destroyed what's interesting to me is that normally if C dies the summon should disappear but I guess since it's not the end of the action yet the hidden didn't disappear so there he is and he can do his attack and come uh, Archie got flamed, but that's fine. He has damage. Uh, he's also turned into a magical girl now. Uh -huh. Thanks to her magical power, she has some mana regen. And probably a little more magic. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what the buffs you get from it. 
But anyways, we're back to the regular thing, get the aggro, just fire, do more damage with the hidden. Uh, Archie's stuck on regular attacks. So he's Borg is immune to poison now, so there's no point trying to poison him. Not that you will since Archie's got magical burst staff duel. To be fair, if you use uh, the magic shot, you still can poison someone while in that state. Anyways, uh, Borg's buffing himself a lot, and he's not doing any very dangerous attack, which is why this fight went pretty well. Pretty lucky, actually. Uh, special skill. When Archie is transformed, this. Not a single critic, though. I'm quite saddened. Maybe I should go and buy some items that boost your, the critic. Ah, oh, well. That's fine. We'll be fine. We got fire. Uh, it costs a lot of mana, though, and it has a cooldown, so anyways, you can't use it plus anymore. Now we're going back to just regular old triple attack. And so, yeah. This was actually a... I thought this was actually a pretty cool fight thematically. Because uh, there was a lot, of, there was some build up ever since uh, the second part with uh, Borg and seeing how he has uh, some trouble with uh, with C. And so it was uh, quite a good, quite good fight. Good, uh, and it really had like a lot of intensity to it the music choice, the transformation into a second phase, and all that. It's kind of like the final boss of the first arc, kind of, even though it's not really an arc. And the next one kind of follows suit in the same type of arc, but whatever. The point is, I found it was a pretty cool fight. This is actually, uh, if I remember, Stickfried, the Fire Emblem, the character that's used in front of us there. And of course, you can recognize Gary. Good old Gary Oak. But yeah, as you saw, he took a lot of damage from that X Scissor, because when, uh, when Borg buffs his attack, he does a lot of damage. Be careful of that. Even the Siren took 400 damage there. But, anyways, I haven't exactly much to talk about. So, hopefully, the fight itself is entertaining enough. You know, just the uh, same again and again. Nice crit there from Archie. Which I really would like more often. But, uh, C broke to bring it up, anyways. He does still have a boost of critic against his grass. Her, she still has a boost. Gosh damn, I keep saying he, uh, just anybody. Sorry. I suppose I'm sexist, don't I? Anywho. She has a boost of critical defense or glasses, but she's not critical, critical hitting that much. Maybe because she doesn't have the luck to die. Good critic from the hidden there. <laughs> Volpe Vol. Archie gets flamed though. But Archie does come on with a beautiful finish while flamed. Look at that. 708 critic. An absolutely beautiful hit. And a beautiful way to end the fight. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've defeated the third boss. Doing a pretty good job right now. I haven't had to farm absolutely at all, at all. So that means we're on the lowest level we can be. So now we just got the resolution. We beat Borg. We managed to get Flan back. And look who's coming. It's Cerno. It's a whole mess over here. And he's wondering what's going on. Anyways. Uh, Archie gets a little staff to become magical girl whenever she wants. And before we leave, hurrah! Better wizard hat. Let's see. Honestly, this thing waited long enough for an upgrade. Yes, the better wizard hat—a clear upgrade to the adventurer hat. But yeah, this is the end of uh, this uh, third part. We've managed to beat the third boss without doing any farming, any leveling up, we're still on the perfect streak. But, the worst has yet to come. Now that we've got our team members back together, it's time for more mandatory fights.
this guy was such a hassle. Oh my god. He has so much defenders and you need to poison that it really takes a long time. Uh, I recommend using piercing arrow to pass through his defense. Otherwise, you're gonna be here for a very, very long while. Welcome to the worst part of the game. You don't have any healing spells anymore, so I hope you prepared a lot of items. Now, since she isn't a boss, I'm not going to go fully heal, but do not underestimate her. She has a, a lot of damage because of her due to your level. Especially her tornado, which will hit everybody with a very good amount of damage. Uh, but, as I said, it's magic damage, meaning C will take less damage than Archie, so for once, C is not going to die all the time. Uh, I would still put C, due that he doesn't have his healing, and she's using to magic, you're just making the de facto item user to just make sure everybody's healed up. Have Siren take the aggro because it's tankier. Archie put some poison and triple strike. And there we go. Just uh, make sure you have some items. Okay, our final party member has finally joined us. Uh, this is Mer. She's uh, once again magic, already level 18, much higher than us. Uh, level magic, just like you see. And uh, finally, someone to heal us. If you compare to her, she has a less, uh, less defense. So she's only a little bit more attack. Anyways, most importantly about her is that she has a miracle sign. We can heal us a lot, which will replace uh, C's healing, so that's finally a good thing. And uh, yeah, I gave her some mana regen so that she can be healing. Anyways, now it's time for uh, a few more mandatory fights. I also went ahead and picked up the Earth Charm I missed uh, previously in this little corridor here. And there we go, we've made a full turnaround. Now we're back here. Uh, remember that one, the toilet that I almost forgot Nazrian? Well, the reason you had to talk to him was because you want to talk to this guy now. If you hadn't, he wouldn't be here, it's actually the same person. But uh, they give you a nice little phantom mask, which is a pretty good item. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna equip it. Uh, I thought about equipping Archie, but I still wanted her to keep her credit rate, because I just love it that much. So uh, instead, I decided to put it on C, 
But that was in Hat on Mirror, so that she can uh, use less mana for the fight, but we'll talk about that later. Giving her the Phantom Mask, giving C the Phantom Mask, so from a food percent evacuate. Uh, this is the equipment these guys have. No need to stay on it too much. I try to check if there's anything better, but no. Can't even act with the hairpin. That's kind of crap. Anyways, now it's uh. Now we're gonna do a little save. And it's about time we go phase the boss. Sorry about the long pause there, I just love that music so much, I just had to let it play for a bit. Anyways, Ellie fight. Ellie has a lot of magic resist. C is absolutely useless because he doesn't have Tempest Slap. So C uh, is going to remain just an item user and summoning. That's always going to be his job. At the beginning there, I was still kind of like trying to figure out what I wanted each person to do, which is why I was moving kind of slow. It's still like this right now, but... Anywho, uh, you already saw some of the things uh, she can do, Ellie. She can do, uh, as you saw, uh, stunning a single person, which might be- Holy heck, calm down. She can also do that. She can do a big hit like that, but that was a critic, so they did a lot of that. But anyway, so yeah, she can do a single thing that could just stun someone for a turn, which is basically what you want forever, if you want to do but that's what you want forever. Hopefully in the best RNG. She also has a thing that can poison everybody. As you saw, and then this big magic attack. Uh, but yeah, plan. Have a Mur, make sure she's uh, here to heal. Uh, yeah, do another magic hit of 1200 damage, because why the heck not? Uh, it is a little angry during this game. I actually get a lot of crits, uh, well, she does a lot of crit on me, which is kind of bad for a fight, but we still manage to make it out. Anyways, uh, yeah, the role of everybody. See, summoning and using items, that's it. There's no point in trying to attack it, it's just useless, it's just so little damage, and later on when Ellie boosts her magic defense, you can do literally zero damage, so why bother? Siren's gonna do the aggro, and then the heavy slash, that's it. Aggro, heavy slash, if need be, use an item to heal somebody else if you're really in an emergency state. Uh, as you can see, I'm gonna summon C because why not, I'm the shadow's dead. Archie, apply poison, and then rapid fire. You know, the usual stuff. And Mur is there for support. She's gonna be there for miracle healing to heal, obviously, which is the best healing we're gonna have in the game. And boost her agility so that she can always be first. Uh, Ellie, you want her to not do those AoE attacks she's constantly doing there? Such as Wave, but because they can actually do a lot of damage, especially for Archie, who doesn't have that much uh, defenses against uh, magic. But uh, that's the gist of the fight. She's gonna do a lot of AoE, which is what makes her very tough. Uh, make sure you have a lot of items. I have a lot of bread. A lot and a lot and a lot of bread to uh, compensate for all this. And uh, that's how I'm gonna feed myself. Make sure you have the other ones attack. Poison needs to, needs to stay up. That's about all I've got for this fight, so. Hopefully, uh, you people like this little thing. Uh, chapter uh, 6 of the. Uh, if you didn't know, Chapter 6 of the Short Game is out. 
for actually been for quite a while. This is why we're gonna be doing it. Uh, soon at some point. But well, the rate we're doing is the silver flux they do. And another 980 damage on chest right there, as I told you, the very unlucky of his critical hits. So I actually went for both a potion and a miracle a miracle sign. But anyways, as I was saying, uh yeah. Chapter 6, you're probably gonna wait until chapter uh, well it depends how long it takes, but if it takes too long, I might wait until chapter 7 simply because I wouldn't want to restart the game if, when it does like barely started chapter 6 because yeah you have to start over every time. But there's a lot of new stuff over there that's pretty cool. You got some nerfs, so some buffs on some monsters, you got C who actually has his own picture now instead of this. Which is uh, pretty nice as well. I'm sure if you've seen the uh, speedrun, I'm sure you can you know there are some differences. She's doing a lot of AoE, which is very not nice. And uh, it's quite annoying. She can do some regular attacks, but for some reason she doesn't like using this fight. But surprisingly, it went very well despite our extremely low level. I'm surprised it uh, went that well. I thought she would do a, a little more, or we do a little less, but this game is actually really not that tough. Despite the lack of healing, well, to be fair, we do need like a billion breads to do this, so in a way, it's not exactly a simple fight. But yeah, even without these healing, we just use a pay to win with some nice food. I'm gonna get a. Yep, yep. The music's still really dope, and I love the design of this character. I mean, just look at her, it's so insane. With all the eyeballs, the green eyes watching you, and the music is just so beautiful. So, uh, this is really my favorite boss fight out of the game. The atmosphere before that, when doing the bridge, which is just completely silent before you go into the fight. Talking to the, the stakes that are at hand. Even without like healing, you have to fight it, and you get your new character, Murr, in there. Although, Murr. <laughs> if I look at my honest opinions on her, I, I don't mind her as a character, like, she's nice and all, she's sweet, but as a, like, battler, she's absolute garbage. Like, besides Miracle Sign, she has nothing good for her. Like, her spell is not strong enough, they cost way too much mana, she doesn't have any physical defense that you can really, uh, like, tank anything, and enemies mostly do physical defense. I give a little bit of mana serum so that you can do a bit heavy slash, but she does a good decent amount of damage with it. So. But yeah, even her, uh. You should just get a thing later on to take off any of the debuffs, but we're not gonna use that, and that's kind of cool, but yeah, she's. She's really not that great. She only has that one good sign with her, she doesn't have that much health. She doesn't have enough mana to go for with the amount of mana she has, and see does so much better with her mana. Her mana. She's so much better with her mana. I guess I might as well give my opinions on everybody at this point. Let's see, but if I have to rank my favorite characters from best to worst, hmm, it's very difficult. It's difficult between Archie and the Siren. Archie is just very reliable in the damage she can do, especially if you boost her into critic. I mean, we're not really feeling it now because we don't have the items. Like, I'm only actually picked up the lucky dice uh, from the little Doug boost thing from the way that I can't remember the term is Jumpin, I think what you mean. But yeah, it gives you a lot of critic. In fact, the triple right? you can really do a lot of damage. Because you can get double two critics, you can three critics if you're lucky, and it does a good amount of damage. I mean, it doesn't play it like that. 60, 70, oh my god. And Siren, just, just his reliability as a tank. You've got so much HP, you've got some good defense. You can take the aggro, you've got AoE damage, you've got some heavy damage. It's, such a reliable character, he's so good. And then I thought to see therefore at number three. Because he does good magic damage, he has a few. The summons are really great. And frankly, like it does boost him to a really good character with the summons because you can get so much good stuff with him. But I still prefer to put uh Siren as a very up top there because under own. But yeah, you get Tempest Slash later, which is my favorite move I see. Gives it a double attack of physical, more physical damage. Uh, and then finally, well, my life. My boss. Uh, as we saw, Ellie did heal up. When you took down the zero HP the first time, she didn't heal up. You could then, like, yeah, yeah, I'm not dead. So you have to keep fighting. Don't think it's over yet, so make sure to be safe. 
because you want to avoid doing that in that much damage. A little bit of a lag there. The computer is having a hard time handling all this. Uh. Anyway, fights are almost over. Just make sure you keep everybody in health. You don't want to risk like dying. And theoretically, it shouldn't be a problem if one person dies. But as I said, I try to do a challenge that everybody's alive at the end of the fight. Because otherwise, you can use a mechanic where if someone's dead. Well, you take you gain half the XP, and therefore you could try and get the level even lower. So you know you could do it lower than what I did, the rider fight and such. But I don't like that. I feel like it's not, it's not the real perfect run to, to, to let them die like that. Like for everybody to die at the end. Anyway, she has a uh, 503 HP. We're almost there. Get some hidden damage from here. Check, check, check. And slash a little bit of damage. Heal up just to make sure that she doesn't die. She keeps the defense. And there we go. 500 critic. From a good friend suit. And that's the fight. We did it. Level 15, level 16, 17, and 19. And we get an NVIDIA shard. Give back for the dialogue. She lost. She's not happy. Sino comes in, like, what's going on? We're like, oh, we escaped from the cell. Like, really? Seriously? Yeah, man, I gotta help him out. Oh, fine. Here you go. Have your house back. But try to limit them. Like, yay, we got our house back. Woohoo, let's go. We win. Well, then, I guess we can go back to your shrine now. Just take the elevator and she's like, hmm, whatever. It's not like I like you anyways, babaka. But that's it. That's the Ellie fight. Honestly, one of the hardest ones, nonetheless, despite, like, what it might look like, because... You gotta be prepared of items and such, and make sure you're careful, because at any time you can just randomly die. But anyways, on to bed, and on to the next one. Okay, well I need to get one more hit and get into it. Which is a attack, like regular attack, with rapid fire. You even may remember to do crazy kill him. Wait, no. No, 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 no! Ah, shit. So for this fight, uh, what is actually the hardest fight in the game? Not really, you just need to know what you do. But last time was hell. Basically, uh, if you kill one turret, the other one will get very angry and will murder you. So what you want to do is try and balance it so their health are about the same and try and finish them within two turns. Like you kill one on one turn and kill the other one the next turn. If you're a real pro you kill them both at the same turn but I was not able to do that. Anyways that's all. Just be careful of this fight.
nothing much to say about him. Uh, when he has his reflection thing, it's not a hundred percent, so you can still hit him. But if you don't want to, just guard while he has it. Uh, yeah, when he has evade, you can still hit him. So it doesn't really matter. Or even if you attack him, it doesn't do anything. Like, anyways, it doesn't hurt that much. Like, it doesn't do that much damage. And uh, his regen doesn't last forever at the end, so you should be fine. Well then, after a few crashes and uh, some mishaps, we're finally here. Uh, this is our team that we have, 17, 17, 18, 20. Make sure you get pelted and shielded. Uh, this is the equipment we got. Basically, everybody's got a yellow tech suit. I went to the shop, you know, buy some new items since we're finally at the last one. Got the Dragon Tempest for double basic attack from Siren, which will be really useful, I think. And uh, the rest is still the same from previously. As for Archie, uh, I didn't change much. The crystal two we got, I think we already got it before anyway. So yellow tech suit again. I give her the Nvidia shard for lots of attack and minus the light for a little more defense. It's defensive. And Mer finally I gave her the Earth charm because good stuff everywhere. The yellow tech suit of course. And will I draw just so that we had that MP regen that uh, C has and she doesn't. And the uh, yeah Indian. I wasn't sure about trying to changing the charm of the undead, but I feel like actually with the stats it gives more magic defense, fairly less agility, etc. I think it's worth it, so putting the, the zombie charm. Anyways, uh, this thing on the right there, telling you there's a bed. That's a trap. Don't 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 believe them. This is explicitly made to kill you. It's actually gonna be a super hard fight in there, so don't do that. Anyways, uh, here we have a bunch of items I bought, lots of baguettes, and a brio. I'm doing one last save before starting the fight uh, in there. Go talk to Skep. Everything's broken, not happy. This is off limits, he's angry. Let's go. Let's go, Scaver boss fight. As you can see, there's two people. There's Scaver, and then there's a little bird. Really cool bird trademark. Uh, well, we're gonna do the usual beginning where we're gonna poison with regular attacks, boost merge agility so that you can boost your support, and do draw so that's very good. And uh, yeah, what we're also gonna try and do is to debuff Scap as much as possible using Softening Snuggle to lower the attack. Uh, these two well, can't really do much, so you just hit them. Uh, we're going to use Heavy Slash when we not attack both, uh, you'll see why later. Rapid Fire, and uh, use Curse Zephyr Strike to try and lower the attack, and Spinny Snuggle to lower the agility. Yeah, this boss is very strong, so it's very important to try and reduce it, as you can see the damage it did. And so it's very important to try and debuff him as much as possible because I didn't get through it now. Uh, she got her skill right there that proc'd, Focus. And uh, he's gonna have a bunch of those, like that scapper's gonna have a bunch of those skills that uh, are gonna either boost his agility, boost his evade, well, I think it was evade, boost his defense with have eyes, it's for random skills, actually, if you know well far enough, patience, and such. 
So he's gonna constantly have them and interchange them between or back and forth and just randomly switch. Uh, as long as she's a uh, the bird, well, we'll see for now. As you can see, everything's going great for Scap. Seems like a pretty reasonable fight. I mean, she does a decent amount of damage with her OE and such in regular attack. She has a uh, this to drain health. And there's a Pavai, so they're gonna do the no damage. But as uh, the decent amount of HP, but nothing too bad. You know, pretty uh, reasonable fight. Doesn't seem too hard for now. Just uh, just gonna have a bunch of buffs on him, so be aware of that. Now, uh, therefore, like, well, since uh, Scap is the Pavai, I'm not gonna do any damage. I thought I'd attack the bird. Now, uh, make sure Mir always has your DT up. He's playing his level, trying to free the bird. And that's not cool right now. We'll get to see what happens. Bird, all of a sudden, start getting those things too. Focus, and patience, and have eyes, and all that. So, uh, shooting star actually hurts too. That's a pretty powerful move she has. But yeah, so that's what happens when you start doing the health to it. So I'm just gonna not touch the bird anymore. I focus all my attention on Scabbard. And then next eliminate the bird. All in all, as you can see it does some decent damage very fun. Music, also very good. This time it's actually from uh, uh, not the whole fan game called Fantasy Man Wars. Uh, which is a fan a Toho version of Super Robot Wars, which is actually very good. Very good soundtrack gameplay and stuff. I highly recommend this, my favorite series of uh, Toho fan games. And as you can hear, the music is absolutely fantastic. And that's a little, little random. I'm trying to find things to say. And as you can see, he's uh, starting to do some damage. You have to really try and get your manage the HP of your friends while at the same time trying to reduce the, the stats by nerfing them and debuffing them. And uh, everybody gets hit a little bit but it's not too bad thanks to Miracle Sign and now thanks to me using the hug of C which are no longer locked. And if need be you can use items. Low life range but that's not too much up. Attack also is actually pretty powerful. Three hits like that. If it wasn't Siren, it could have done a lot of damage. And now Siren's got the tier blue tier stone ring activating, which gives him defense. Always a great item. He's new tier, he's wild. Now he's in nuclear mode. And this corrodes, by the way, that, that thing. But uh, it's kind of like a super poison, I think, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, all the little buffs we got after 10 turns from the barrier and the pelting are gone, so now it's going to be the fight a little bit tougher. Uh, nuclear, I'm not even sure what it does actually. I think it might make them a little stronger, maybe. I've never really seen like 310 some reasonable damage. And the thing's like corroding every hit now, so maybe it's that it just puts corrosion on hits. But, uh, nothing too bad changing really. Yeah. I was a little apprehensive in doing this fight because the C is only level 17 and then it's 10 to slash. My favorite move at level 18, so I don't even have that to do damage to. Kind of sucks. Uh, no mana left for Siren, but thankfully we got that new sword, which just as you saw, a double attack slash slash, which is pretty cool. Uh, gonna keep beating them up. Put some mountain uh, Mer Windy has been back on Mer. I'd rather rather than picking up the closer because we need her to be fast for Felix. Beautiful critic there for 495. Feels like Scapper doesn't have that much defense compared to other bosses, like we're doing a lot more damage. Good critic from hitting as well. Mm. Oh, there it is. And now this this is the part. I was like, oh okay, he's got wrath. That's that's cool. There's a little bit of little buff of damage. But uh, I was not ready for what's about to happen. Once, you know, I'm done choosing a move for 8 years. Cast a little miracle sign, you know. Grab the shot, do some damage. And then Grandma arrives and 1200 damage. On C immediately. Uh, we're doing a lot of damage on C. And my ass is clenched. I'm, all of a sudden, everything goes very wrong. Uh, I'm gonna have a uh, Siren take a brioche. 
Hachi's gonna take some bread to heal up and we're gonna use an admin key from Merge with Ice Team. Uh, hopefully everything goes well. Shopping cart on Merge almost killed him. This immediately takes him under half health on Steam. It's going very wrong very quickly. I had to see, uh, take some nice nice bread to heal up. Siri just goes in for taking the aggro so that the other one can die hopefully. Put some poison back on Scapper. Merge gonna use a heavy uh, miracle motion M to heal her up because he's gonna use it right now. Shop card for the 1265 and Siren actually survives that. That was like the greatest play ever. And this is why Siren is the best character, like right from there. He's just so reliable with his tankiness. And I'm just going like full on like kill him, kill him, kill, 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 kill Scapper as fast as possible. And thankfully we take it down. Whew. So yeah, Rap was extremely unexpected, so you gotta be prepared for that, that all of a sudden the crits will be coming, the damage will be coming, you gotta be really, really careful. I think it's under when it's like 20% health. Maybe, no, maybe 15, 10%. Might be 10% actually, because you started at 10,000 and you had like 900 something. The point is, be very careful at that point because you'll do a lot of So now, on to the bird. And uh, there's not much to say here, so... All of a sudden, the, all the tension is basically gone, and it's just a slow fight with a little bird. He's going to spam have eyes a lot. Like now. Yep, and there it is. I'm not trying to some crits, but uh... But yeah, the hard part was there. Like, as you can see, it's really spamming that power and it's taking really slow fights. I'm even trying to have murder do some damage now. Oh, they're both getting 16. They both have about the same amount of mana, apparently, with Murr and see, I just realized that they're getting just as much. But, you know, you're summoned the, the hidden, because, you know, it helps to do a little more damage. Look at that free damage. Beautiful. I'm trying to not use any mana while the guy has pav eyes because it was just the point. We're just gonna waste it and not doing damage. Go for the rapid fire. Now for him. So someone need has been back. Just in case. There should be no trouble, but just in case. There's the pav eyes once again. Trying to suck this little attack is down. Great we're doing 20 damage. Truly amazing. It feels like even the bird has more defense than Scabber, to be honest. Very much of the me. I'm rather just thinking things really, really good. So we go for some fire before regular attack because it's have eyes and one waste mana. And I thought like, hey, maybe I should put winning after me someone so that they can actually be faster. So they hit before the power eyes appear. Either the enemy does it. Get a little bit of damage there on there. It's all fine, attack them. Maybe it might be bad fix, so it doesn't matter that hit. Now this is pretty interesting. You realize just how fast Archie is and how slow Siren is. When Archie has the boost of agility, he is actually faster. She's actually faster than Siren using the red flag. Ridiculous. Even with priority red flag is still too slow. My goodness. Then again, they do have a little bit of a level disparity, but not that much. And uh, we're gonna put in the fight. There's another flash, some fire. We're almost there. Almost there. Here's some coffee for. Now, about some coffee for Archie. Let's get some mana back. Got some focus now. It's not bad eyes, so I don't mind. And now I'm just going full on attack mode. Now we have a Zero Strike here. Finish Nuggle. We get the attacks. Everybody attack. Good for Get the fire. And finally, the Hidden Slash finishes the boss fight. We did it. We beat every single boss without even having Tenta Lash.
Well, there you have it. This is the end of our adventure. We ended up with uh, our final levels of 18, 18, 19, and 21. It was a, it was a fun time for me. I, I quite enjoyed doing such an adventure. It was, there were some hardships. But yeah, it took much longer than I hoped, but hopefully it was worth the wait. So thank you everybody for watching. And see you in the next episode of Moria Shrine, the game. Why I did, could I